everybody today I'm going to be making a video on how to use turkey calls so and I got four different kinds I got slate mouth call push pin and box call and I'm just going to kind of go over them and how to use them so here we go first with a slate call on your striker you need to sand the top of that with the little sanding cloth that it comes with or should come with and then sand off the top of your slate like that also what you don't want to do is like take your finger and like rub it across it and get oily wet spots all over it because that will make it sound wrong but all you do if you do that by accident take that sander and like rub across it which this isn't sandpaper this is like a sponge with some grit on it. So. so you take this and you just kind of figure out how you're comfortable holding it, which I hold it with like four fingers like that, and then just kind of lay my thumb on the green part up here, which not all of them have a green part or always have a, a handle that's that big, but just kind of what I do. Or you can move it down some sometimes like that. Or it doesn't matter. But you just kind of I'm going to rest it like on the green thing. I don't know if you can tell how I'm doing that. I'm just kind of shove it up against it because that feels better. And you just kind of go in an oval. For the yelp, you just kind of make an oval there. For the purr, you go, you just kind of drag it up. So once you do that, then you gotta put it all together for like what you would do out whenever you're trying to call in a turkey, which it sounds more like this. which you just yelp a lot and then have some like softer yelps which you do that just like not putting as much pressure but it doesn't take a lot of pressure to make it really loud so just barely touching it to it whenever you make those soft yelps um the mouth call The longer reed always goes on top, but this one is the, has a sonic dome thing on top, so it's easy to tell. And you just gotta figure out where it goes in your mouth. And whenever it's in your mouth, you gotta put your tongue up, like the top of your tongue up against that. And make sure that this is crap, firmly up against the top of your mouth, like the roof of your mouth. That was a yelp, and it probably sounded a lot higher pitched than with the slate call, or at least to me it did. And that's, well, maybe not a lot, but still kind of a different pitch. And that's because all calls, however you use them, you can make them different pitches, which will sound like different turkeys. So it'll sound like you're multiple in one spot if you decide to use more than one call. So, and that was that, like the yelp. But all you have to do is just kind of either hold your teeth together and just kind of blow air out, like force it out of your mouth, or, or while you're holding your tongue on the, on the reeds and everything like that. And the, Or you could say chalk or cloth, whatever. Not clock. I didn't mean clock, I meant... I think it's chalk or chuck, not chalk or clock. It's chalk and chuck. So yeah, chalk or chuck, not chalk or clock. I'm sorry. Uh, you just say that while it's in your mouth, or you can just kind of... Force air out. And that's the yelp. 
but the purr on this one, you just kind of put your lips together and go. And how you put it all together should be something like this. push bin. All it is is like four pieces of wood I think. And all you do is which this one I like to put my thumb like just a tiny bit of pressure on it because it makes it sound a lot crisper like and that's the yelp but for the purr you just kind of push on it and then barely drag it down with your finger. And that one, to purr on this one, it's a little bit more practice, but... Do that, and then it should sound like this. That one's probably the simplest to describe, but it's not exactly the simplest to do. I, I'd say the mouth call or the slate call are the easiest. This is the box call. This particular box call, I don't like the sound as much as the other ones that I've used. It's like this one, you know, it was a lot cheaper than the other ones that I've seen or used, so I don't know if it's because of that or if it's just because I don't use this one right. But you hold your fingers on it like that. So four fingers on this side and thumb on this side. And then just take these two fingers and go. And that's for the yelp, and you have to hold it sideways like that. The other ones, you don't have to hold sideways like I was doing. I was just doing that so that you could see it. But these, you are supposed to hold sideways whenever you do the yelp. And you just kind of flick your wrist back and forth. Don't use your arm and go like that. Flick your wrist. Like but on those, if... You're not supposed to ever take it off of the wood, so it's... Let me make sure the camera's still recording. Okay, it's still recording, because it stops at 10 minutes, and I wasn't sure if I was there yet. So, you push it forward, no sound, bring it back, there is sound. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm going to try to get over here and show you. Push it forward, no sound. Pull it back through a sound, so it's... So that's really simple. And then for the purr, you just kind of put your thumb on it. You just kind of drag it back, so... My favorite is my slate call and my mouth call, but all of them work. I've tried all of them, so, you know, it all works. Um, pretty sure that's all I have to show you, except I might have one more mouth call right up here, but if I don't, I'm not going to bother looking for it. Um, no, it's not right there. I have one spot. Oh, here it is. Should have known. Just to show you how all of them have kind of a different pitch. And the longer okay, I don't know if the camera top. got that last thing that I said because it stopped recording. But like this one, this is my other mouth call. And the longer reed goes on the top of your mouth, 
But this one's a little bit hard to tell because there's no special cutouts in it. It's just kind of two reeds laying there, on top of one on top of the other. So. So that's that one, and I'm going to do this one real quick just to see if you can tell any difference in the pitches between the two different mouth calls. Probably could tell from that. Oh no! I pinched it in the edge. That's not good. Go back in there. See how you're supposed to. So I hope you could tell the difference between those two. And like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and go get some turkey calls. Got the mint with the box call. You uh, take this little. Or mine came with a little piece of chalk stuff, and you just rub it on that edge. And that just helps the sound, or it helps it glide across it better. Simple enough.